Warning, due to YouTube's content restrictions, you can see this video in full on our uncensorable Odyssey channel at video.freekeen.com. Good morning, Porkfest. So yeah, as he mentioned, I did run for sheriff under the platform of Fuck the Police, and I'm going to be fairly expletive here, so if you have kids and that makes you uncomfortable, you might want to step back. Because I want to add to that, it's not just fuck the police anymore, it's fuck the FBI too. Because they decided, as I was sleeping at 6 o'clock in the morning, to break into my house, kick in my door, point guns at me, and threaten to shoot me if I didn't stop moving. And all of this over white collar crime. So the FBI agent out there, because I know you're fucking here, you've been watching me for two fucking years, fuck you. Can you go through the video for me, please, Lexi? And it's not going to play, of course, it isn't. <laughs> yeah, just go on to the next one. So, for those of you who don't know who the Crypto Six are, on March the 16th of this year, a joint government task force, including the FBI, the U.S. Postal Service, the IRS, and several other agencies, came at myself, Ian Freeman, Rich Paul, also known as Nobody, Renee and Andy Spinella and Colleen Fordham accusing us of basically being this libertarian Bitcoin mafia. And of course, there's, there's nothing in this that suggests any sort of violent activity. Yet, they responded to this by taking a bear cat in through the door of the studio, breaking out the windows, and sending a fucking drone in because they were just that scared of the power of cryptocurrency, that scared of the power of libertarians who are actually making a difference. Now the case itself is very complex. The trial is currently set for May of 2022, but it's far more likely going to be something like October of 2022. There's something like 100,000 pages of discovery. They, they spent years and millions of dollars on this bullshit. Can we go to the next one, please? So it's primarily, I mean, a dark shadow hangs over this entire festival for me, to be honest. There's nowhere else on earth I would rather be, but there's someone missing. And that's Ian fucking Freeman. They wouldn't even, this is my best friend for the last three years, and they won't even let me to have contact with him. Can you go to the next one? So people ask, yes, this is a major thing. I'm glad I have this, because I would have forgotten it. People keep asking, every time I talk about this, well, what did you do? What did you do? We got raided. That's what we did. This whole presumption of guilt that you have that because the FBI raided me, I must have been doing something to warrant it. That's called assuming people are guilty without a trial. So you ask what we did? We got fucking raided at 6 o'clock in the morning. Can you go to the next one? The case isn't important. Yeah, go, go on to the next one. I forgot that. So the Chinese government, allegedly, I realize there's a lot of confusion about what they're actually doing, but they're taking what you would expect the Chinese government to do as their approach. They're attempting to ban the use of cryptocurrency in China. Of course, you know, that's what the FUD is anyway. I don't know to what extent any of that is true, but the United States government is fucking smarter than that. They've been at this for a very long time. The U.S. government invented fascism. They're the best at it. They have complete and total control of our economy because they control the money supply. And as long as they control the money supply and they have the licenses and the regulations and all of that, there's nothing you can do in the United States that isn't licensed or regulated by the U.S. government. And more often than not, because they're a fascist regime, they take corporations like Coinbase and Kraken, Binance, Gemini, all of these other cryptocurrency exchanges, and they have them create the rules, create the regulations. So the U.S. government then comes along and just says, okay, yeah, we're going to adopt yours, but we're requiring you to jump through all of these hoops, and you're going to basically enforce the law for us. Because there aren't any real laws regarding cryptocurrency, which is why the Crypto 6 case is so important. One of the things it's going to do is make the federal government determine whether or not a cryptocurrency is an asset or a currency. The IRS right now wants to treat it like a currency, like an asset. Meanwhile, the courts are repeatedly saying, no, you can't treat it like an asset. Bitcoin is money. Well, make up your fucking mind. Because this ambiguity you have is only serving the state. It only weaponizes the cryptocurrency against us. Can you go to the next one, please? In 2018, Free Keen teamed up with LBRY.com to back up our YouTube. Libraries already protected more than one video that YouTube took down. Now, in 2021, our YouTube's been given a ridiculous strike for a 15-second promo from 2011 for harmful or dangerous content. Library doesn't have strikes or any way to take down videos. Our days are numbered on YouTube. Get the app at lbry.com or follow our channel on Library's new platform, Odyssey. 
at video.freekeen.com.